big developments at City Hall in Kansas City. Just hours ago, an embattled city councilman announced he is stepping down. Michael Brooks' resignation comes after accusations he choked his assistant at City Hall. Accusations Brooks still denies. KMBC 9's Michael Mahoney joins us with the latest. Michael. Not only did Brooks deny choking his City Hall assistant, Tanya Titus, but today, publicly for the first time, he came out with his version of the story. Now, this took place at a late afternoon news conference at his attorney's office here in downtown Kansas City. He says that uh, at that uh, time, there was a police report from Tanya Titus, his assistant, saying that Brooks choked her in their City Hall office. Brooks now says that, yes, they did have a meeting that November day. Brooks told Titus at the time that she didn't have to worry about putting in for any holiday vacation time because she was being replaced. Now, Brooks' lawyer picks up the story from there. She was yelling and talking very loudly and shouting things about all that she had done for him and the duties that she performed of him. Mr. Brooks informed her at that time uh, that none of that really mattered, that the decision had already been made. This is a rare circumstance, uh, and I understand that there's a lot of entrance, uh, interest in how it's going to work. Uh, but my message to all of you is simply this, that we have it under control. We're going to act swiftly uh, to ensure that the residents of the 5th District are represented on the council. Mayor James talking about the replacement process now that 5th District Councilman Michael Brooks has resigned. Mayor saying that the candidates running currently for that seat in the spring elections next year shouldn't apply because they would have an unfair advantage in that spring election campaign. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News. Brooks' resignation takes effect on January 2nd. He says he's doing that to finish some city hall projects.